Scammers talk smooth and fast, hoping they'll fool you into giving them your valuable information and, of course, your money. Our consumer investigator Hank Winchester has been exposing scams, making sure you know which ones not to fall for. And he's back with the biggest one, one of the biggest this year. Thieves, they're always looking for the new way to scam you, and this year was no different. Now we take a look back at some of the biggest scams of 2018. Scams that could still affect many of us in the new year. I started getting phone calls of people saying, yeah, you called me. What did you call for? I missed your phone call. I didn't call any of them. It's a scam that's been out there, but seems to be getting so, worse. Kim Lane has been getting more than 50 calls a day from people saying that she called them. But it's a scammer using neighbor spoofing, technology that copies numbers in your own area. And sometimes it may be someone's actual number, like Kim's. My phone number's left on their caller ID. But the problem is people believe Kim is the scammer, leaving her threatening voicemails, causing her to have to go to the Taylor Police Department. So if you get a call from an unknown number, even if it's in your area code, don't answer it. And don't call that number back. If it's somebody important, they'll call again. If it's a doctor's appointment, they will leave a message saying this is a doctor's appointment. Moving on to another big scam this year, salespeople going door to door, selling windows and doors that you don't need. But they'll talk fast and they'll make you think that you need this product no matter what. And they made you kind of feel like, oh, you need to get this done right now before winter. Rhonda Lloyd paid 10 grand for two doors on her Waterford mobile home without being able to do any research or take any time before signing on the dotted line. Be careful when a stranger shows up on your doorstep and has something to sell. A solicitation license for most of our local communities is required to go door to door. If you don't want to answer the door, don't answer the door. A scam that hit Metro Detroit hard in 2018, it hit several church parishioners, including those at St. Paul of Tharsis in Clinton Township. The email appears to be from a priest asking for a favor, helping a fellow parishioner stricken with cancer. Some people responded to the email and they said, oh, thank you, uh, God bless you. Um, I need you to do me a favor, I'm in a meeting. I need you to go get uh, $200 in iTunes in $100 denominations of iTunes gift cards. You then take a picture of the code on the back of that gift card and email it back to the person posing as the priest. Scammers love to work through gift cards. Let this be a red flag warning to you. If someone asks you to get a gift card and give them the code, take a minute. Call the person reaching out to you with the number that you have for them and find out what's really going on. Finally, job scams are out there, and this time the scammers are using the Amazon name to fish for cash. A fake HR rep finds the victims online, claiming to be hiring people to post product reviews. The position allegedly pays $6,000 a month. You can even work from home. But there's a catch. New employees have to purchase a $200 enrollment fee before they can even start. The scammer then vanishes. This kind of employment scam happens all of the time, and they often use other company names as well. Uh, sometimes they say they may need a background check, so they ask for your personal information. And they'll ask for things like your credit card information. Or they can send you a check for payday, and then they ask you to wire the money back because they overpaid you, and then the check was fake, and they're actually getting your money. The scammers searching the web for job seekers, people that have posted resumes, for example. A reminder, no legit company will ask you for credit card or direct deposit information during the hiring process. Amazon does not require payments for any job training. And a few hours of work for big money, well, it's not reality. We have much more information about the scams that have affected Metro Detroiters this year. All the information you need to know is right on the Help Me Hank page at clickondetroit.com. I'm Hank Winchester. Help Me Hank.